They will be doing general, we will be doing a general ledger for all of these accounts for each of these transactions. So let's start. Opening balance for March 2020 for XY. Z traders, we have your bank for 125,000, your loan for 78,300, your water and electricity for 4,200, vehicles 450,000, and your inventory for 99,800. So we will go ahead and insert that. So we have your bank 125,000, so we insert that your opening balance, you write it out full as opening balance. This is just due to space, but opening balance is 125,000. For our loan is 78,300. So remember when we do the opening balance, unless told otherwise, we will always follow this format. So you see we have your assets, your drawings, and your expenses, and you have your income, your liability, and your equity, and this is the order in which they operate. Please watch our previous video for more information. I have explained that in the previous video. So we have our loan for 78300 that's our opening balance. And we have our water and electricity, $4,200. It's an expense, so we will add it on the debit side. Opening balance. Then we have our vehicle, 450000 That's an asset, so it's on the debit side of our opening balance, for 450000 Finally, we have our inventory of 99800 It's an asset, and that is our opening balance. Then we start off with the transactions. Received loan from ABC Bank of 60000 So remember what we spoke of. We're in the double entry system. Debit entries are always equal to your credit entries, and each and every single account will always have two entries okay every single transaction has two entries or you can say two accounts are always always involved so received loan from bank 60,000 ABC bank we received the 60,000 okay so we have our bank and our loan account involved so in our bank we received 60,000 because bank, we naturally receive money. That's why it's always recorded on the debit side. We always receive debit entries in the bank. Okay, When we receive money, debit. When we lose money, credit. So we received 60000 for a loan. And then in our loan account, we received money from the bank of 60000 which we have to pay back. So our liabilities um, more we have more debts we have more people we owe so we will record that as a credit entry sold vehicle of 60,000 two accounts involved we sold the vehicle so that's the vehicle account involved and when we sold the vehicle we received money money in the bank 60000 so we have our vehicle account and we have our bank account so in our bank account we received money okay we received that money so we received money for vehicle that was sold of 60000 60000 and in your vehicle so we don't have more cars anymore well, delivery vehicle, we do not have any vehicles anymore. We have given it away. We have sold it off. So there are less. We have less assets. Okay. So we sold this vehicle. We received money through the bank of 60000 Next question. We paid water and electricity of $3,000. So when we paid water and electricity, money left our account. Money left our account. And we paid water and electricity of $3,000. Write that out in full, please. This is just for explanation. Tutorial lessons. $3,000. So water and electricity, we received money. 
we we paid out our expense of 3000 and we paid it through the bank so we paid an expense we paid our expense So in this, every debit has a corresponding credit. Because we credited the bank, we had to debit our water and electricity. Vehicles again. We debited our bank, we had to credit our vehicle account. So your debit entries, your debit entries should always equal your credit en entries. So you cannot have two debits and two credits. There should always be debit, credit, debit, credit. Next question, we move on to paid loan from ABC Bank, 30000 So we paid the loan. We paid the loan of 30000 So when we paid the loan, money left the bank. We paid the loan, 30000 so we will credit it, and then we will debit this loan because we have less debts, less liabilities. We paid off our debts. So we paid 30000 through the bank. So we will debit that. Bought inventory 10200 We bought inventory 10200 So money is leaving our bank because we are buying inventory. We are using our money. So we are withdrawing or we are paying off. So 10200 goes to inventory. Money is leaving the bank. But when we buy more inventory, money is, more inventory is coming to us. We have more assets. So we will debit. Hope you understand. Please comment below. Have any comments if you would like us to make more videos or if you want further explanations, and we will gladly do that for you. Bought vehicle, 120000 We bought a vehicle for 120000 You know, sometimes these accounting questions, they are very strange, but this is how you would normally receive accounting questions in your exams or in your test. So it's very important to know the terms Bought inventory, 120000 So we have your bank involved and your inventory involved. So inventory, a vehicle, sorry, 124 vehicles. So we bought money, left the bank. We have less money now because we are buying a car. So we bought a vehicle for 120000 And underneath your vehicles, we are receiving more we have more cars now. So it's through the bank of 120,000. Then we sold inventory 45,000. We sold inventory 45,000. So we sold inventory so we have less things. We have less stock. Another word for inventory is stock. S-T-O-C inventory stock so we sold inventory that was worth 45000 so we sold inventory of 45000 and received we received money in the bank of that 45000 and then in our bank we sold so we received that money of 45000 and that money we received was because we sold inventory so those are your transactions so we credited inventory and we debited our bank so every debit is equal to our credit so after we do all these transactions we need to close the accounts and the closing balances will always go to your trial balance i will explain that in the next video so when we close off our balances at the end of all the transactions, you will draw these double lines. So we will have to calculate all of these, these amounts. 
and we will have to add them up. So 125,000, we would have to add them up. 60,000, 60,000 plus the 45,000. If we add the totals, we will always choose which one is the bigger side. Which one is the bigger side? The one on the debit or the credit side. In this case, our debit is big, so we will add that total, which is 290,000 in both of the blocks. And then what we will do is we will subtract this total by all of this so that we can get our closing balance. So our closing balance will be our 290,000 minus our 3,000 plus your 30,000 that we paid the loan for plus your 10,200 plus your 120,000 and that will give us 126,800 that will be our closing balance so this was just an example for one of the accounts so we will go further we'll do one more so we have our loan account and we have to choose which one is the bigger of the two between the credit and your debit and the bigger one we will insert it in these columns okay so let's say your 78,300 plus your 60,000 we receive from the bank is obviously bigger than your 30,000 so in the block we will say 138,300 minus that transaction which is the 30,000 and then we get our closing balance of 108,300 let me write that again 108,300 that will be your closing balance then we move to water and electricity there is nothing on the debit side it's completely empty so we will just add your 4,200 plus your 3,000 which is your 7,200 so we say 7,200 in the blocks and then there's nothing over here so your closing balance will be 7,200 that's how we get the amounts okay so that became 72,000 Sorry, so it's 7,200. We move on to our vehicles. Let me use another color. So which one is more comparing your debit and your credit side when we look at the vehicle account? So we have your 450,000 opening balance plus your 120,000. And that gives us 570,000. And we write this in both blocks. So the, the one, the column with the most amount between your debit and your credit, that is the one that you put in your block. All right. So your 570,000 minus the lesser amount, which is your 60,000, you will have 510,000. We move on to our inventory, which was our final account. So your inventory, we have 99,800 plus your 10,200. So it's more, this is more than your credit column of 45,000. So this is 110,000. And the, the one that is more, we add it, we write it down in the little block and we subtract this by the lesser amount. So your 110,000 minus your 45,000 is your 65,000 and that will be your closing balance for the month of March. Okay, so all these closing balances are for the month of March. So this is not your closing balance. The ones that we put in the block, the closing balance is the one we calculate after we find the one in the block. Okay, thank you so much and please subscribe to our next video. Subscribe to the channel and comment any questions or any videos you would like to see so that we can make it as well as in any other subjects. We are here to help you. You can do this. You got this. Don't panic. If anyone else can do it, if someone else can do this, you can do it too.